Obviously, that's not what we want to do in reactors. Most reactors are completely incapable of sustaining that kind of neutron multiplication. So you reach a point where only one fission is causing another fission, and that is the notion of criticality. It's a state of balance. When you want to bring a reactor up to power, you bring it to supercriticality to a certain level. You go up till you get to where you want to be, and then you level out at criticality. And one of the things I had wondered about for the longest time was it seems like this is such a precise balance. How would it be possible in an engineered machine to attain such an absolute perfect situation of balance? And what I found in my great interest was the negative temperature coefficient of reactivity. The reactor will become more reactive as it gets cooler and less reactive as it gets hotter. This notion of a chain reaction has perhaps been used a number of times to uh, perhaps scare people about how nuclear fission reactions really take place in a reactor as if they are an uncontrolled expansion of the number of fission events. That's not really what happens in a reactor. 